Hello everyone, welcome to the Aliens Blog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to have another math tutorial and it's all about linear equations, solutions to one variable. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss linear equation. Number two, solve linear equation. Number three, find the value of the given variable. Those are the objectives that we will be meeting at the end of the discussion. Always remember, it is better to do your best than to be the best. Again, it is better to do your best than to be the best. What is linear equation? A linear equation is an equation for a straight line. A linear equation is an equation for a straight line. The standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by is equal to zero. The standard form of a linear equation is equal to ax plus by is equal to zero. The graph of a linear equation is a line. The graph of a linear equation is a line. Let's now try to solve linear equations in one variable. Given x plus 6 is equal to 8. x plus 6 is equal to 8. What are the steps to follow? Number 1, transpose the constant on the other side of the equation. We will be transposing 6 on the other side. And always remember when we transpose one term on the other side, we will be changing the sign. So from positive 6, it will become negative 6. Transpose the constant on the other side. From positive 6, it will become negative 6. Next, add or subtract. 8 minus 6, that is 2. 8 minus 6, that is 2. So our final answer is 2. The value for x is 2. Let's try to have another example. X minus 9 is equal to 2. X minus 9 is equal to 2. So what are the steps to follow? Number 1, transpose the constant on the other side of the equation. We will be transposing negative 9 or minus 9 on the other side. So it will become, from minus 9, it will become positive 9. Negative 9 will become positive 9 when we transpose the term. X is equal to 2 plus 9. Next step, add or subtract. 2 plus 9, that is 11. 2 plus 9, that is 11. Our final answer is the value for x is 11. So when we check, 11 minus 9 is equal to 2. 11 minus 9 is 2 is equal to 2. Another example, x plus 4 is equal to negative 6. x plus 4 is equal to negative 6. What are the steps to follow? Transpose the constant on the other side of the equation. So from positive 4, we will be transposing the term on the other side. From positive 4, it will become negative 4. Positive 4, it will become negative 4. So x is equal to negative 6 minus 4. We will be adding or subtracting. Negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. The final answer is negative 10. x is equal to negative 10. Negative 10 plus 4, that is equal to negative 6. Next example, 2x plus 10 is equal to 16. 2x plus 10 is equal to 16. Steps to follow, transpose the constant on the other side of the equation. So 10, we will be transposing it on the other side. So from positive 10, it will become negative 10. 10 transpose on the other side, it will become negative 10. Next, add or subtract. 16 minus 10, that is 6. 16 minus 10, that is 6. Next, divide both sides by the number beside the variable. Always remember that on this side, kailangan po x lang ang matira. So that means we will be dividing both sides by the number beside the variable. So the number beside the variable is 2. So we will be dividing both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So the answer is, the answer is x is equal to 3. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6, plus 10 is 16. Another example, negative 3x minus 12 is equal to negative 27. First step, transpose the constant on the other side of the equation. Negative 12, we transpose it on the other side, it will become positive 12. Negative 12, transpose on the other side, it will become Positive 12. We add or subtract. Negative 27 plus 12, that is negative 15. 
Negative 27 plus 12, that is negative 15. Divide both sides by the number beside the variable. We will be dividing both sides by negative 3 to cancel out negative 3 on the side of x. So x will be remaining. So we will be dividing both sides by negative 3. So that means negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, then x. Negative 15 divided by negative 3, that is 5. Negative 15 divided by negative 3, that is 5. Our final answer is 5. Another example, 2x minus 3 is equal to 6 plus x. What are we going to do if we have a problem like this? Steps to follow, transpose the constant or variable on the other side of the equation. Make sure same or similar terms will be on the same side. I'll be transposing negative 3 on the other side, and I'll be transposing x on the other side. Always remember, when we, when we transpose from negative, it becomes positive, and from positive, it becomes negative. So from x, it becomes negative x. From negative 3, it becomes positive 3. Add or subtract. 2x minus x, that is x. 6 plus 3, that is 9. 2x minus x, that is x. 6 plus 3, that is 9. Divide both sides by the number beside the variable. There's no number beside or constant beside the variable. So our final answer is x is equal to 9. Let's try to have another example. 5x minus 36 is equal to 12 plus x. Steps to follow. Transpose the constant or variable on the other side of the equation. Make sure same or similar terms will be on the same side. I'll be transposing x on the other side, and I'll be transposing negative 36 on the other side. So from x, it becomes negative x. From negative 36, it becomes 36. Next one, add or subtract. 5x minus x, that is 4x. 12 plus 38, that is 48. 5x minus x, that is 4x. 12 plus 36, that is 48. Divide both sides by the number beside the, the variable. Divide both sides by the constant beside the variable. We have 4x is equal to 48, so we will be dividing both sides by 4. 4x divided by 4, that is x. 48 divided by 4, that is 12. Again, 4x divided by 4, that is x. 48 divided by 4, that is 12. Our final answer is 12. Another example, negative 6x plus 25 is equal to 46 minus 3x. Steps to follow, transpose the constant or variable on the other side of the equation. Make sure similar or same terms will be on the same side. I'll be transposing negative 3x on the other side and I'll be transposing 25 on the other side. So from negative 3x, it becomes positive 3x. From, negative, from positive 25, it becomes negative 25. Add or subtract. Negative 6x plus 3x, that is negative 3x. 46 minus 25, that is 21. Negative 6x plus 3x, that is negative 3x. 46 minus 25, that is 21. Divide both sides by the number beside the variable. So we will be dividing both sides by negative 3. Then negative 3x divided by negative 3 is x. 21 divided by negative 3, that is negative 7. Negative 3x divided by negative 3, that is x. 21 divided by negative 3, that is negative 7. And that ends our discussion for today. Always remember to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him or submit to Him and He will make your path straight. I hope you learned something today. I hope you learned how to solve linear equation solving with one variable. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye! Muli po, nagkapasalamat po ako sa lahat po ng mga nag-subscribe, sa lahat po ng mga nanonood po ng mga videos ko. And I hope I was able to help you and I will be able to help you more in the future.